Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profit Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Code Igniter version 3 HMVC tutorial for beginners. This is our part number 16. Inside this video session guys, we are going to create the layout for our book module. In the last video that is part number 15, we had made the setup for our book module as well as we had seen our database connection as well as we had created our migration file. Now this time we are going to create the layout for our book module in which we have to create 3-4 different types of input fields and the input fields depend upon the database table field what we have done in our migration. The field contains called book name, book author, book publication and the book description. So these are the fields actually we need to keep in our form. So if I back to code editor, now this is our book module controller. Now inside this controller I am to create let's say public function create book and let's say layout. Now inside this I am to call our view file. So here let's say this load something view and the view file inside we have called book and inside this book let's say create hyphen book now if we go inside this book module inside this views folder I am to create a file and that file something called create book dot php now inside this file we have to make about the headers of our access file that we have downloaded called our CSS as well as JavaScript files as well as inside this PHP file we have to make the input fields. So inside this views folder this is the file that we have created now inside this folder I am to create a folder called include this basically folder contains all the files what basically we will require for our assets so load styles dot php and also it contains about load let's say scripts dot php now inside this load styles the name itself clears that in this file we have to make the linking of our css files so hyperlink and it should be relation equal to let's say style So here we have to pass our hyperlink for the CSS file. So let's say that PHP tag echo it should be base underscore URL and inside this as we know that we have assets folder and inside this assets folder we have CSS folder and inside this CSS this is the name of the file. So if I copy and click here to rename copy the name of the file and pasting it here but it will give an error error is that base url is not defined so obviously we need to load our url helper so go to our core folder inside this hmvc controller means the parent controller and to load the helper let's say this load helper and inside this helper and to firstly load about the url helper now after loading url helper now we can easily access about the base url as well as the site url inside this application now next we have to set our base url for this application so back to browser now this is our url of this application so copy that back to editor and inside this config folder we have config.php now inside this we can set our base url as we can see here so copy that and pasting it here so close this file so successfully we have loaded our style seed file now here inside this we are ready to load our script file as well so let's say script and inside this we need to pass about the source of script file so let's say that echo it should be base url and inside this we need to go inside assets folder inside js folder and again if i scroll down to our assets folder so inside js folder these are the files actually we need to load so this time we only want to load about jquery.mean.js 
and if I copy this line and pasting it here now again I'm going to load about this validate.mean.js now in our upcoming videos when we load data to our output screen so that time actually we will use about the data table.mean.css as well as data table.mean.js files now successfully we have loaded our style sheets file as well as our scripts file now here we need to include these files so let's say this load view and inside our book module we have include folder and inside this include folder we have file called load styles.php this time we are not going to pass .php now copy that and pasting it here this is all about load scripts here now inside this container I'm going to make a container so let's say this div and inside this div we have to make our form so if we go to the browser and if I suppose make a route for that so go routes.php and let's say route book and let's say create hyphen book here and it will call about the book controller means our book module and inside this book module we have a function for that something called create book layout so copy that and pasting it here so if I copy this route name back to browser pasting it here now this is our layout but this time it is empty because we have no content inside that file but if I press Control U to get the source code now as we can see that here we have CSS we have two JavaScript files and now this is a simple empty div element now inside this we have to create our forms so I have opened about W3 schools to get the code of a simple bootstrap form and something writing it here so I'm clicking on this button to get the source code of this form now if I copy this div container so copy that so copy that all the codes go to our create book and pasting it here now if I save all these changes to see the output go here reload this page now this is our form that we have created now inside this form we have to make our own custom fields so back to code editor now let's say that inside let's say s3 tag and inside this s3 let's say that create book now here inside this actions let's say that php tag echo let's say site underscore url and i'm going to submit to this let's book and let's submit book here now this is the route actually we need to create inside our routes.php so copy that go here copy and paste and replace with that and this will call let's say submit create book now this is the method basically submit our data to our database table now we have to create that so copy go to book controller and let's say public function now this is the method so right now this is the method is empty so we will create in a seconds so just go to our create book and let's say that here we need call book name so this is txt name input type should be text so copy this name pasting it here also we want a name attribute so let's name pasting it here and inside this placeholder here we have our name attribute so remove that and let's say enter name here so if I again remove this name here so let's say that this is not for the password if I go and remove these fills copy that pasting it here now this is all about our book author so let's say txt author now if I copy pasting it here pasting it here and inside this placeholder let's say enter author again this is input type text field so copy 
pasting it here and this time this should be book publication uh, if I change the attribute name so it should be txt let's say publication so copy this pasting it here and pasting it here again for the placeholder let's say that enter publication and finally we want about the book description so again if I copy this div pasting it here and all about let's say a description now for the description we want about the text area so here let's say that it should be text area here now inside this text area we have to pass our attributes to so name list txt description also we want something called class and this is our bootstrap class and also we want placeholder so let's enter description now this is the input field I'm going to remove from here now all we want to change something it's not book always so it's only description it's only publication it's only author and finally we have called name here and finally for the submit button let's say that btn btn and it should be primary so if I save all these changes back to browser reload this page now we have a form called name author publication and the description now we have to fill all these data and submit to our database table now inside this layout also we want two buttons right here which basically says that go to listing or add new book so back to code editor now I scroll to the top and let's say that create book so right here I'm going to define a div div here and let's say that it should be class equal to row and here I'm going to define two buttons let's say div div close here and let's say that it should be button or let's anchor tag and here let's add new book also if I copy and paste and this should be let's say list all books here so href let's say php echo something site url and here let's say book and this will redirect to our route something called let's say create books so copy that and pasting it here again if I copy pasting it here and this would be something let's say list and books this is the route actually we need to create and I think that this will be wrapped inside href so href and also I'm going to specify about the class attribute for these anchor tags so it should be btn btn let's say info here so copy and pasting it here so if I save all these changes back to the top reload this page now we have two buttons called add new book and list all books again if I go and give some margin top so let's say margin top and let's say 40 pixel and it is not perfect so successfully guys inside this video we had created a form inside this form we have some input elements now in the next video we are going to validate this form from our server side code it means that we will load our form validation library and by the help of form validation library actually we need to validate while submitting this data to our database table and let's suppose that we have successfully passed all the validation rules then we have to collect these data and save to our table now inside this layout we have one more button called list all books what basically it means it means that in the next video we will create a page which basically list all the books which we will create from this input form in that listing we have some buttons called edit as well as delete from those buttons actually we can edit some data of this created book as well as delete some record if we want to delete them 
Now successfully guys, only inside this video we have a simple layout right now as we have developed to create our book. So inside this video session guys, if you have any doubt, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.